Russian budget smartphone killer for 50 bucks. New and second hand iPhones. Only in this episode of Chinese wholesale market. Let's get started. Today I am at Shenzhen wholesale smartphone market. All the phones here are brand new with warranty and many models have international firmware with Google Play Store. This store sells many budget phones, many of which between 50 to 100 dollars. I saw this Russian phone, which I have never seen before. For 50 dollars he has to be called the budget killer. It comes with Android Oreo 8.1, two SIM cards, fingerprint scanner, 13 megapixel front and 5 megapixel camera on the back and huge battery. My first impression of this phone is how heavy it is. They better call it Russian tank, but high screen is also not a bad name. The phone works fast and it's very responsive. The camera app opens fast and taking picture very quickly. I am truly surprised of this phone, what they are able to accomplish for this amount of money. If you look for cheap budget phone, I definitely recommend it. It's surprising to see other than Chinese company in the budget segment, where they dominate the market. I want to mention that I don't buy and sell phones and I won't be able to help you with this. Also this is a local market and if you want to buy phones you have to be there on person. The next phone is from the Chinese brand Gioni and it cost 80 dollars. When you hold this phone it's almost impossible to think that it's cost just 80. The build quality is very good and it feels half of the weight of the Russian tank high screen. The back of the phone it looks very similar to Galaxy S8 and S9. Now he is changing the language to English. This phone is also with international firmware and it comes with Google Play Store. It has 5.2 inch display with 32 gigs of storage and 3 gigs of RAM. The screen is vibrant and high resolution. The next phone is Sharp R1S and it comes in a surprising price of 78 bucks. Solid build right out of the box, another heavyweight contender in the budget class, where weight means quality. Sharp R1S was released March 2018, it has 5.5 inch display, 32 gigs of storage and 3 gigs of RAM. Dual rear cameras 13 and 5 megapixel and 5 megapixel on the front. Also a huge battery and yes it supports fast charging, not bad for a budget phone. Let's continue to browse the market and see what else have. This place is really huge and you can find almost any brands of phones. Of course there are many Xiaomi phones. All the iPhone models are available at this market. iPhone 10 64GB version cost $850. These are brand new phones, not refurbished or second hand. Vivo X23 it's a such a beautiful device with fingerprint scanner under the display. The earphones look nice with water drop shape, coming with a silicon case in the box courtesy of Vivo. 
priced at 400 brand new with warranty. Oppo R70, another very good looking phone and this is how will look the new OnePlus 6T. This phone starts at 380. Oppo definitely wants to become number one or at least number two on the Chinese market, bringing new phones almost every month. This is Oppo R15, starting from 300. Some of these phones are 100 to 200 dollars cheaper than the original store price. Oppo Find X with the current price of $570 on the wholesale market for the 128GB version. This is $150 less than the official price, not bad at all. Now let's check the second floor to see what else have. This is just a small part of the whole market. This video will become too long if I have to explore everything. These are second hand phones. iPhone X is sold for about $700-$800. This store have some very interesting phones, which I have never seen before. Hold on guys, them price is about $25, which is pretty amazing for a fully functional smartphone. How much is this? This must be very cheap. Have you heard about Phone Brand Plus? It has 5 inch display, Android 7, 5 megapixel front and back cameras, and cost only $25. This phone is a beast. Another super budget monster. It's loading little slowly. This is not a phone for a people in a hurry. The display looks low resolution, but hey, for 25 bucks, how can you complain? The camera app takes around 5 seconds to start, if you are lucky, and making pictures take the same time. A tablet for 30 bucks, what more can you want? Now this is a pretty impressive phone, the Obi MV1, he was released in 2016. How much is this? Obi World Phones smartphones come with a pretty impressive heritage. 
The company was founded by former Apple CEO John Scully and the design is handled in San Francisco. Subscribe, like, comment and have fun. Thanks for watching.